In today's episode, we are going to show you the best Ultra League team in my opinion. First of all, we got to start off with Obstagoon, or how I pronounce it, Skittles, or how I nickname it, and you run Counter, Night Slash, and Obstruct. But instead of Obstruct, I changed it. I changed it to uh, the fighting move. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But during the video, during this time of the video, I um, had it as upshot because of the new move. For Giratina, you have Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, and Shadow Sneak, and then the final one is Walrin, which is Power Snow, Icicle Spear, and Earthquake. Now we're gonna go to our first battle see how it goes it's a good team like you might win you not you might not win all five games but you at least win like three or four out of the five which means you'll get to the, the secret counter as you can tell we can go against Regirock this is good for our favor Re all Regirock moves don't really do much for Giratina Giratina is just a tank he uses Stonehead it does a decent amount of damage but we got now he swapped the Cressela, but that was a that was a good move. But then I decided to swap to Obscoon because Dark Dark is again super effective against Psychic, so it's a good move on my part. And I had switch advantage. He's gonna be running Moon Blast, which would do a lot of damage. But I decided to shield it, so we're good on that. I run another night slash. Does not shield it, does a decent amount of damage. Not enough. And now I got off the move. Now I'm a double shield because Obstagoon is a very crucial. All of them are crucial Pokemon. I run another Night Slash. See, if I did, if I had the fighting move instead of Upstruck, which I do now, and it's a lot better, it would do a lot more damage to Regirock as fighting super, super effective against Rock. But that's alright. I swapped to Giratina. He uses Focus Blast, which is does uh, Giratina is double immune to it. I use Dragon Claw to do a decent amount of damage. Almost killing the Reggie Rock. Farm him down. Ooh. I was so close to farm. Like one more hit and we'd have been dead. But he uses Stone Hedge. Decided not to shield it. But. I didn't get the Dragon Claw in time, but I swapped to Opsum because Night Slash is super effective against Ghost. He uses Grass Knot. Oh, sorry, Seed Bomb. I use Night Slash. If he doesn't shield, it's going to do like half hell. Around half hell. And he swaps to Cressel. So both of his Pokemon are super effective against Opsum. Or Obstagoon super effective against that. So this is a great... And then we got Walrin in the back. We didn't even need Walrin. Like, Walrin was just there. I mean, I swapped to him. But, technically, we probably didn't even need Walrin. But, Walrin's just there. Just in case if Obstagoon's dead. He uses Grass Knot. That hurt. But then, he uses Icicle, Icicle Spear. To finish the Cressela, then we only got one person left. He finishes me. I swap to Obscoon. Had a Night Slash ready, and this should kill the Trevenant for a win. Yes, sir. Now we move on to the next battle, and we are matched up with the Cressela. So Cressela is Giratina is good against Cressela, but the thing is Cressela knows Moonblast, so it kind of does bad for Giratina. So Giratina does good to Cressela, and Cressela does good to Giratina, but mo most of the time Cressela will die. Because Moon Blast only does half, so you don't have to shield right away for the first Moon Blast. Save it. I use Shadow Sting because that's super effective against Psychic. Cresselia uses Grass Knot. 
Let your shadow sneak again. If she doesn't shield it, it should be close to Kano, but she decided to shield it. So now she has no shields now. If I, I could not, if I wanted to, I could have uh, not shield it and save it for my other Pokemon, but I knew that I would get an attack before her and most likely KO. You know, <laughs> I accidentally closed out of the game. Luckily, it was mid mid attack. And now I got a Walrin. But Obstagoon is super effective since counter is his fast attack. So even if you, even though you don't have a uh, fighting super attack, counter is a fighting attack, but you technically don't need obstruct or night slash because obstruct's not very good. At the time, it was I tried it out because you know the community day just ended or whatever, so I decided to try it out, but. Uh, now I decided to switch it back to, uh, Cross Chop, or Cross, yeah, Cross Chop, that's what the move. Swapper decided to kill me, I swap over Gucina, have a lot of energy saved, so I decided to use Dragon Claw. X would throw, almost kills Swamper, decided to farm him down, he dies, he almost got a Hydro Cannon again. Then I had a bunch of energy ready, used the Dragon Claw to do a bit more damage. Almost got to another Dragon Claw, but I got a full health Walrin against his almost dead Walrin. So this this is another dub in the book. He uses Earthquake, doesn't even, get, doesn't even do half health, and he gave up. That's another win. Now, it's Giratina versus Giratina. Giratina versus Giratina. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. They both do super effective. He, he uses Dragon Claw, I use Shadow Claw, so I charge up more energy faster but he does more damage through fast attack but in the end you really just basically copy your enemy like if he shields then you should shield if you don't shield then or if he doesn't shield then you don't shield like just do the same thing when it comes to gear team gear team but then I decided to swap because his charge attack was getting ready and now it won't do very much damage to the water. He's probably going to swap. Now he has Machamp. This is not a good situation, but the, best, the only thing I could do is just attack. That's really all I could do. I can't switch to anything. He attacks. I decided to shield because I have an Icicle Spear ready. And Icicle Spear, even though it's not super effective, it's okay, but... I forget, I decided to do Earthquake because I had enough energy ready, and he did not shield it because he doesn't have any shields left. And now, I swapped to my Giratina because he's almost low. If I can hurry and farm down energy, shield it, of course, like what I did, and now it's a Walrin. But, Obstagoon is a perfect matchup against Obstagoon. Put a nice size. So, if I had Cross Chop, which I do now, I could kill the Walrin way easier, but in this case it's fine. Walrin doesn't do much damage against even Earthquake. It only does around half, but that's a decent amount. I use Nat Night Slash against the Walrin. Doesn't fully kill it yet, but one, uh, one or two counters instead, but he attacks before he died. He, he ain't giving up. He's not giving up, and... Oh, the gear team is still alive. This one's really close and dead. Next round, we got a Gyarados. Gyarados, depending on the move, Gyarados could be really bad against Giratina. But this Gyarados, on the other hand, does not have bite. So if Giratina has bite, then it's a lot worse against Giratina. But as you can tell, he does not have Bite, so this is a great matchup. But he does have Crunch, that's why I decided to shield it, because I figured it was Crunch. Because if you use Waterfall or uh, Surf, it wouldn't do very much damage against Giratina. I killed him, or I farmed Gyarados down to get more energy to go against the other Giratina. Put a Dragon Claw, he decides to shield it. I had another Dragon Claw ready. Because I farmed down that Gyarados so, so much. Then he decides not to shield it. I inst this was a great play. I instantly swapped to Obstagoon. So now I'm using Dragon Claw against Obstagoon, which didn't do very much damage. So now this is a good matchup for me. 
I used Night Slash with a super effective, but he swapped to Magazone, so that was a good swap. But I have Fast Attack Counter, which is super effective against Shield, so technically it wasn't the best swap because now now I could just farm him down and have a lot more energy just for the gear team and by him, which is by himself. I use a Night Slash. He shields it. He has no more shields left. I use another Night Slash because I farmed down the mag zone. Does probably a third of the health. Yep. Now all I have to do is get one more Night Slash. And he gave up anyways. So that is four out of five. I didn't show the fifth one because I lost. But I did lose the fifth one. But that's four out of five for Ultra League. So I would definitely recommend this team for Ultra League. Now if you don't have a Walrin or anything, just try your best to match it up. Or if all of a sudden like the GOAT Pokemon is completely different, like if Giratina is no longer good or whatever, then like I said, just switch it up. Maybe just like have the same typings. Like because with those typings combined, like they can counter each other, they can support each other. So that's why it's such a good team, but four out of five I would count as a as a dub. And I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you later.